What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about setting up DMX addresses for slim pars in Campsys. So go into the launch pad. Go on over to Magic Q. So open the launch pad. And then you should just find Magic Q if you scroll across. And then continue last show. So in that pop window, just click continue last show. Um, go over to the setup button, which is over in the top right. Click new show. Click yes. I'd like to start a new show. And then go to normal live. Click normal live. Pop on over to the patch. Then choose head. You're looking for choose head just at the top there. Not choose dim media, which is all for like non-generic fixtures or non-dims. Um, you want to go to choose head. So you've got this filter that you can use, which is um, got the likes of like your live fixtures. So you're going to find like film and TV live fixtures, and you can create your own like user. So you can have different lights from different manufacturers in your own user. But for today, I'm just going to go down to all. So I'm going to select all, and I'm going to look for Chauvet. Go into the Chauvet, and you'll see all the lights in the, that come under Chauvet. That's it. I'm just going to go scroll down the right column because I know it's on the right. It's looking for slim par 56s. So click Chauvet, which is the all filter, and then go down on the right hand column and look for slim par 56. Once you've gone in slim par 56, you're looking for channel 7, 7 channel mode. So that's 7 channel mode, and then click OK, just on the left there. And we're going to go into the patch it tab. And you're looking for the number heads, which is 4. And then we're going to patch that at universe 1. So what universe do you want? Universe 1. And then I'm going to put a little dash in there. And then I'm going to select the channel, which is the actual DMX, like address of the actual fixture. Or the light, you know, on the back of the light you type the DMX address in. So start it at 1 and then click enter. And then yes, I'd like it to populate the visualizer. And I'm just showing you where they're highlighted so you can see where you can get them from. So you can like take a little take a little picture of this so you can use it. So when you go away from the desk or the laptop or wherever it might be you're using, that you can then take that with you to program the actual lights, the DMX address on the back of them so you don't forget. And we're just going to click Programmer, come out of the Programmer, and then we're going to come into Layer 1, and I'm just going to click off some of these, like, four windows or four boxes, and then click Layer 1, and it populates itself, so it repopulates. So Layer 1 already has all of these attributes in it, but I actually want to put them in myself, so I'm going to put in Layer 1. So I can click Layer 2, and then that has nothing in it, so I can then re-record layer one so i'm going to click on your group position color and beam and then i'm going to replace the position one for the intensity so i'm going to put that in the top right hand corner and then i'm going to record this as layer one So you've got that rec on the right hand side there, record button, and I'm going to go over to the empty layer 1, I mean, just going to click layer 1 and then click yes, I'd like to overwrite layer 1. Now I click on the slim part 56s, which is in the top left in the group section, it's already populated the groups for me. And I'm going to go over to the X encoder wheel and turn up the intensity and now you can see what's happening in the background all four of them just turn up to full on the intensity there as I spin that X encoder wheel.
which actually be like a physical console button or like an encoder rather record onto the first playback which is the s button on the top so I'm just going to click record and then click on the first s button and then click yes and then i'm going to click on set to label it so i want to label that playback so i know what it is i'm going to call it int s pars which stands for intensity slim pars so i've just recorded the intensity onto that playback fader and when i bring up the fader it should just bring up the intensity to full which will then allow me to see the lights at full and then i'll be able to like program effects or right. put colors onto them so i've just come into the groups there so i click view heads oops in part 56 and view heads and i'm going to hold down the shift key to select the odd ones so i'm just holding down the shift key select the odd ones and i come out and then record into an empty space there so right next to it is an empty gap i'm just going to click that and empty space and then i'm going to set and then click on it and label it i'm going to label that uh, even par or even for now and i'm just going to relabel that even s pars I'm going to go back into the slim par group and they should all be selected in there or highlighted. They're all selected within that group there. But what I don't want to do is deselect them. I want to hold the shift key and then I want to take out the even ones. So I'm going to highlight them all again just to show you that. And then I'm going to take out by holding the shift key the two even ones. So take out the two even ones by holding the shift key so highlight them all and then hold the shift key down and take out the two even ones and you're left with the other ones and then I can hit record and then select an empty space in the group section again and then press set and I can label that odd s pars so that's odd S pause. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.